Over millions of years, these rocks break down, releasing trace minerals into the soil. And that's exactly the kind of soil that attracts the Pandanus candelabrum. As kimberlite decomposes, it enriches the surrounding ground with magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, calcium, and even nickel, nutrients that this unique plant thrives on. It doesn't just tolerate those elements. It depends on them. In ordinary soil, it simply won't grow. It's as if this species evolved specifically to survive in the same places where diamonds might be hiding. So this kind of behavior is very rare. Most vegetation adapts to a wide range of conditions, but Pandanus candelabrum has tied its survival directly to underground geology. That evolutionary decision makes it an incredibly powerful tool for geologists, explorers, and gemstone prospectors alike. After all, locating a kimberlite body under layers of forest and soil is extremely difficult and expensive. But when a plant becomes a natural beacon pointing directly to a potential diamond deposit, everything changes. It's important to remember that kimberlite doesn't produce diamonds. It just transports them. These gemstones form deep in the mantle under immense pressure and heat, where carbon slowly crystallizes over billions of years. For these crystals to reach the surface, they need a ride. That ride comes in the form of a very specific and rare volcanic eruption that pushes up a column of kimberlite shaped like an inverted carrot. Once it reaches the surface, the rock cools, hardens, and eventually begins to erode, spreading valuable trace elements throughout the surrounding soil. And it's this mineral-rich ground, shaped by a unique geological process, that attracts Pandanus candelabrum. Even without spotting the kimberlite directly, finding this plant can be a reliable sign that there's something valuable hidden below. In other words, if you come across this species in an area with the right geologic profile, you might just be standing on diamond-bearing soil without even realizing it. But Pandanus candelabrum is not the only plant with this extraordinary behavior. In fact, researchers have documented at least five other species that also seem to grow preferentially on soils formed by kimberlite or with a nearly identical mineral profile. Each of them in its own way has adapted to survive in these rare conditions, becoming a kind of natural compass for anyone searching for hidden diamonds. And the next plant on our list is a truly fascinating one, often overlooked for its simple appearance, but carrying a name that hints at something much bigger. Lagenocarpus adamantinus, also known as diamond grass. The small herbaceous grass with its fine, delicate leaves might seem like just another ordinary plant covering the fields. However, for geologists and botanists trained to recognize subtle environmental clues, the presence of this 